And in order to fully understand the module version 2.0 GUI graphic user interface, it is very simple. It's one, two, three, or ABC as we have it here. Scenarios, contents, and the module space. So take a look at these images here. A, scenarios, B, contents, and C, the module space. Scenarios are the table of contents for the primary uses for your client. So this is your home page, if you will. And really, when we build the scenarios and add scenarios to your programming, we're just building the buttons themselves the events and actions that occur on when we press these scenario buttons is totally up to you the programmer by default selecting a scenario will advance us to the next page we'll show you on the next slide however some scenarios should have a selection macro so for example if I were to press the presentation button here perhaps I the programmer decide it's in my clients most uh, best interest and to make it most convenient for them that the projector should turn on the screen should drop down the presentation switcher should select a default source etc etc and it by selecting that scenario it advances me here to the contents and module space view where we now see the contents that's on the left hand side that light gray list if you will where we are able to provide our user with the controllers or the modules that should be available within each scenario and adding contents within a scenario is again just building those buttons and defining the properties should events and actions occur should a selection macro occur when I press when I press these buttons on the left perhaps yes perhaps no we have full flexibility with each and every contents button to define if we would or would not like events and actions to occur and if we do want those to occur we are able to define what all those events and actions consisting uh, of our macro should be and by pressing one of those contents it will adjust the module space which is the larger area in dark gray there 